Hello everyone, welcome back to Sawdust and Circuits. If you're looking for a simple, effective way to start fires while camping or just cozy nights at home, I've got a great DIY project for you. Today we're making sawdust fire sticks using wax and a 3D printed mold. Stick around to see how they perform in a burn test at the end. First, let's take a look at the mold I designed. For this, it has multiple raised sections, with the idea of these being break points. I wanted each one of these to burn for about 10 minutes each. First, you always want to use some form of release when you're using a mold. For this one, I will just be using this beeswax. And here's what you'll need for this project. You're going to need some sawdust from an old woodworking session. Wax, I'm using paraffin here, but any leftover candle wax will do. And this or some other mold. I designed this to be easy to fill and unmold. You'll also need a pot for melting the wax. If you don't have a special cooker for this, a double boiler is always a good way to go to avoid overheating the wax. First, we're going to melt the wax. Be patient. You want to melt it evenly without getting it too hot. This mold is designed with compartments that make it perfect for individual fire sticks. If you're interested in the design, I'll include a link in the description for you to download and print one yourself. This is just some sawdust I had from other projects, and I sifted it just to remove large pieces and help with even burning. The ratio for this recipe is two parts sawdust to one part wax. You just gently pour the wax over the sawdust. You do have some time with mixing this, so no need to rush. I like to fill these molds as much as possible. And now we just clamp it together and let it cool for about 30 minutes, depending on what environment you are cooling this in. Once they're fully cooled, it's time to unmold and test these out. Let's see how they burn. For this test, we're going to ignite one of these sticks and see how long it lasts and how well it holds a flame. This is perfect for getting your fire started with a minimal fuss, and it's a great way to repurpose sawdust and leftover wax. Well everyone, there you have it. A simple, efficient way to make your own fire starters. If you've enjoyed this project, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. 
Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.